Hi everybody, welcome back to Regina's World. Um, thanks again for coming for another weekend vlog. I'm headed to California. Palm Springs, San Diego, LA. I'm gonna be all over California this weekend. Um, old subscribers, thank you for joining me. New subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, so, I just wanted to say hey and follow me this weekend. I'm not sure exactly where we're at. My husband said we're in the Mojave Desert. But. What you say? Huh? You're on camera now. So? Candid camera now. What'd you say? What'd you say? And what else you say after that? I don't know what you're referring to. Yeah, whatever. I gotta keep focus on the world. Whatever. Can't focus on that. Disappointed. I don't know what I thought in my head that Palm Springs was going to look 
look like. But I didn't think it was going to look like the, I don't know what I thought it was going to look like. Maybe when I get really into the city or whatever. But it really just looks like dirt. That's <laughs> Everywhere I go, where it looks like. That's what I see from my house. It's just dirt. I just thought it was going to be so glamorous here in Palm Springs. When you say Palm Springs, that's what you think, right? So I'm, it got to be, you know, an area in Palm Springs where the tourists go. Because there's like resorts and stuff here. So it got to be an area. But the area I'm in right now. Okay, so we're here at the local Palm, I mean, Motel 6 at the local Palm Springs. Something to know about me is that um, when I'm not going to be somewhere for a very, very, very long time, then I always book at Motel 6. Uh, sometimes you get what you pay for, I guess one is it upstairs I think maybe upstairs uh. but you know motel 6 is cheap so you kind of get what you pay for Which I like it like that because uh, <laughs> ain't gonna be bothered. I'm in the back. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. Here we go. Okay. Normal. Nothing much to see. It's a hot mess in this room. Hold up a second. Okay. Now I'm upset, right? Because as I was saying, you know, you get what you pay for when it comes to Motel 6. And this Motel 6 that I'm in, it looks like it's a lot of crackheads and stuff going on over here. So I just walked into my room and we have a stopped up toilet. We have a it looks like crack pipes, broken crack pipes. Oh boy. I will raise all kind of hell. Okay. So I get Motel 6. It's like a little rundown place and all, but some things is just unacceptable. If you're gonna have housekeepers, your housekeepers need to do their job. Rather not, who's in your hotel? So, this is unacceptable to me. Living in Vegas, this is unacceptable. You know, so, but yet again, you get what you pay for. And, uh, but Motel 6 in Palm Springs, don't book here. If you ever come, just book you a nice suite somewhere and go from there okay i'm highly upset this room better be clean i'm gonna raise some hell it was broken crack pipes the toilet was backed up somebody nasty ass towels was all over the thing i almost lost my goddamn mind This is 
awful. <laughs> so, so apparently this room, 119, is locked on the inside. So you can't get into 119. So the first room wasn't clean. It had crack pipes and dirty towels and a stopped up toilet. This room, you can't get in. Where are they gonna put me now? I, this motel six, avoid. Beep, 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 avoid. Luckily, I was just, I can roll with the punches. I wouldn't even care that much if my kids wasn't with me because frankly, they weren't supposed to be with me in the first place. It wouldn't even be a big deal. I can roll with the punches. Fuck it, it's just, I'm not even gonna be in the room anyway. But because they're gonna be in the room, for just for a couple of hours I just need to get them in here and then I'm out of here so I wouldn't even really give a shit you know what I mean because I wouldn't even really be here I'd just be here tonight sleep and then I'll be back out but them being here pissed me off you know but this was a bad choice of hotel I'm very disappointed in the Motel 6 because I always stay at Motel 6 and for the first time, I'm at a Motel 6 that I actually find repulsive. You know, so, it is what it is. I'm just, just give me into a clean room that I can, that I can get in. That's all I'm saying. So, so I, I, I have a, um, a big mouth to talk about this place all over social media so the, the people can know this Motel 6 needs to be cleaned up from head to toe. I understand they accompany uh, the crackheads and the poor, but customer service go a long way. And even though if that is your, your people who you take in, who you let stay here, you know, cleanliness still goes a long way. Because when you get a, a customer who's not on drugs, who not don't live like that and they're expecting you know it's motel six so it's not five star but if you're expecting at least three star that's what you want but you know so let's see what we got in this one 118 how do you try to even sell a room that's still got other people stuff in here like the t what is going on with the housekeeping like what? <laughs> like you should be ashamed. Like what is going on with your housekeeping at Motel 6? This is terrible. They got other people trash it. This Motel 6 is terrible, people. So me and Honey did. We finally got a room that was acceptable. And now we're on the road to bad to the lagoon to have a little fun in the sun and some water yeah, I'm excited being an earth baby I like being close to nature so I can't wait to get there get in some water This place is the shit. Before I get in line and get to everything, look at what's going on here. I love it already. So we're doing those little bike thingies right there. I can't wait to get in there. Yeah. Mr. Reed is complaining and he thinks Hey man, this sounds good <laughs> on the um you, you gotta steer it. Hey steer my nuts. This is not that bad. So what can we go past? We can't go, but we go up to the pole and then we gotta come back. Let's go up to the pole. It's really relaxing, guys. We're on this 
little boat, I mean bike looking thing. I don't even know what to call this. But we're on a lagoon. When I get out, I'm gonna dip myself in the water. And when we get back to the shore. Because it's like two feet. I would love to turn around though. And returning and going back to the shore. There's another one of the boat things like us. Humongous now because <laughs> I got it wet. That's fine. Uh, we're leaving the lagoon, we're headed back to the hotel to go and get um, changed, and so we can drop the kids off to their cousins and go to dinner. Um, so I wanted to give you an update of where we are. Just stopped at the gas station because he needed some more gas. Uh, but the lagoon was nice for two hours it was worth it I found it on Groupon um, but it was definitely worth it for two hours you get more than enough time in the water oh gosh I went into the sewer that was the worst I got stuck in the water and went into the sewer <laughs> and oh gosh if you've ever never smelled a sewer that was the worst Thing ever that was awful and I was stuck there for a good five minutes inhaling all that sewage I was like, oh, ah, ah. but um yeah so but it was nice I like being in the water now I'm ready to go and drop these kids off and get them out of my hair so we can um, enjoy our night all right I'll be back soon hi guys if you can see me I am going to end my vlog here because my night didn't turn out how I wanted it to be. We spent two hours leaving the lagoon to drive back to Palm Springs to drive two hours to LA to drop off the kids. It is now almost 11 o'clock. We didn't even get to dinner. So we finna drive two hours back to Palm Springs to try to get some sleep and rectify this for tomorrow. So I'm been disappointed because I've been in this car it's gonna be six hours I'm over it I'm just ready to get in the bed all right y'all so see y'all tomorrow don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my video to my weekly vlogs and y'all have a good night Mwah. <laughs>